The cable ploughing operation happens at the same time as the cable laying operation, from the duct at the shore end, along the seabed, and out to the wind farm. The process begins with the plough on the surface of the seabed. The towing cable will be connected from the barge to the plough. The barge will reposition to establish both the towing and cable lay catenaries. Once the towing catenary is of the correct length, then the towing cable is tightened and the plough will start to be dragged along the seabed. The plough then needs to create a trench to suit the customer requirements beneath the seabed to bury the cable. This is achieved by changing the height of the front skids from controls located on the barge. For deeper burials, the skids are brought up to allow the plough to sink further into the seabed. The distance behind the barge can be controlled through the tow wire length to ensure that the angle of the wire does not cause it to lift. This will be continually monitored and adjusted as the water depth increases. As the plough drives through the seabed, it lifts a wedge of soil up to create the space for the cable to fall into. Once it has passed, it allows the wedge of soil to fall back over the cable. For more challenging soils, this can be achieved using water pumps on board the plough to inject water at the base of the share to overcome the suction created by trying to move the soil.